Hello everybody. So in this video I will talk about rechargeable zinc batteries. So rechargeable zinc batteries have the problem of this zinc uh, dendrites formation, uh, which uh, I mean the zinc dendrites grow on the negative electrode and traveling to the positive electrode. So when the zinc dendrites reach the positive electrode, uh, the battery will be dead. Today, in this video, I will show you uh, how to reduce uh, the amount of zinc dendrites. So, here I have this uh, test cell, uh, which is really, really basic design and uh, you can make really, really simple. So, actually, I use, I mean, for the positive electrode, I use some graphite. Uh, the negative electrode is made from copper uh, and uh, the electrolyte is just uh, zinc sulfate with water. So I use copper for the negative electrode because when you recharge this cell uh, the zinc will form uh, on the negative electrode. Like here I have uh, copper uh, which is in basic a current collector and you uh, you see here some zinc so if you recharge this battery the zinc will form uh, on the copper and that's it so like I said here I have some basic design uh, graphite on the positive electrode copper on the negative electrode and zinc sulfate for the electrolyte zinc sulfate in water so the charging voltage is 6 volts. Uh, this is because uh, on this voltage the growing of zinc dendrites will be much much faster. But actually the charging voltage of these batteries are, I don't know, between 1.7 to 2 volts maximum. But like I said, I use 6 volts uh, and 300 milliamps for uh, increasing the speed of growing of dendrites. So right now I will start my power supply and I will charge this for about, I don't know, 5 or 10 minutes and we will see uh, formation of zinc dendrites. So after 10 minutes I get really good zinc uh, dendrite formation I will make a closer look And you see here some zinc uh, dendrite formation. So actually if you recharge uh, this type of battery for a longer time, uh, the zinc dendrites will reach the cathode and your battery will be dead. So you see, this is the top view. Six volts. But now I will disconnect my power supply so right now 
I will clean the negative electrode. Like this. And I will put some additive to the electrolyte. So I will add this to the electrolyte. So and now after uh, adding this uh, additive to zinc sulfate electrolyte I will repeat the charging and we will see if we get uh, such a great amount of zinc dendrite formation. Okay, right now looks like this, and we will see what will what we will get after uh, ten minutes of recharging on six volts. So, and here is uh, this test cell after ten minutes of charging on six volts, and you see. Uh, we get some zinc dendrite formation, but it's not even closer uh, what was the formation of zinc dendrites uh, in the previous test cell. So, here is closer look. So actually you see some zinc formation, zinc dendrite formation here and here, but uh, it's not so bad like in previous test. So here is the top view. Actually you see some zinc dendrites but are uh, much more smaller like before. So guys, I think that this additive is really good for experiment uh, experimentation uh, in your cells because uh, you see some difference between the first test and the second test. The second test is here. Uh, and we get much smaller zinc dendration, uh, zinc dendrite formation like before in the, pre in the previous test. So guys, you need to experiment with the amount of this additive and so on. And now, what is this additive which I put uh, in this electrolyte is only polyethylene glycol. I just put, uh, I think, 1.6 grams uh, of polyethylene glycol in into this electrolyte. You see. So, uh, I make the electrolyte from zinc sulfate with water 
and uh, 0 0.6 grams of polyethylene glycol. So guys, I hope that uh, this will help you a little bit. Uh, like I said, you need to experiment with our bones and so on. Uh, you can also use some other uh, electrolyte. That's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye. Oof. Also, if uh, someone was interested, what is the voltage? If I charge this battery on 6 volts, uh, remember this is really basic design. I use only and really only graphite on the positive electrode, copper on the negative electrode and the electrolyte is zinc sulfate with water and also uh, 0 0.6 grams of uh, polyethylene glycol and um, the voltage is oops the voltage is 2. Point uh, I mean 2 volts so the current will be not really high because I don't use any uh, active material on the positive electrode uh, and I get 100 milliamps yeah so guys that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.